This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the JDFN Market Wrap. This is the Market Wrap on a Tuesday. I'm Jack Lott on the James Dix Financial Network. Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson and Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke waged a strong defense on Capitol Hill today of their management of a $700 billion financial bailout just a week after the administration abandoned the original strategy behind the rescue. Paulson told the committee that focusing the program on infusing billions into banks to pump up their capital and bolster lending to customers was deemed a faster and more effective approach to stabilizing the financial system than buying bad assets from financial institutions that the original centerpiece of the plan uh, displayed. De De Detroit's big three automakers are urging Congress for a $25 billion government rescue. Democratic congressional leaders want to tap the $700 billion Wall Street rescue package for new loans to U.S. auto manufacturers and suppliers. Paulson, in his testimony, said he disagreed with that. Labor Department says wholesale prices dropped by 2.8 percent in October. That's the biggest one-month decline on record. It goes back more than 60 years. And the National Association of Home Builders said its housing market index tumbled by five points to nine in November. Index stood at 14 last month after slipping three points in September. InBev says it's closed $52 billion deal to take over Anheuser-Busch and create the world's largest brewer. The new company is called Anheuser-Busch InBev and will be one of the top five global consumer products companies. HSBC Holdings PLC, that's Europe's largest bank by market value, plans to cut 500 jobs in Asia due to the global economic slump. And Pepsi Bottling Group, the world's second largest soft drink distributor, lowered its 2008 earnings forecast, said it will eliminate 4.6% of its workforce in North America, Europe, and Mexico. Pepsi Bottling announced it will cut 3,150 jobs mostly in Mexico. Scheduled U.S. economic reports on Wednesday include the October Consumer Price Index and the Housing Starts Report for October. Earnings today, Medtronic earning $571 million or 51 cents a share. Analysts expected profit of 71 cents. Home Depot said its third quarter profit sank 31 percent. The company said net income fell to $756 million or 45 cents. Analysts expected earnings of 38 cents. And Sachs says it lost more than expected in the third quarter as its affluent customer slashed spending amid massive job losses on Wall Street and turmoil in the stock market. The company said it lost $42.8 million or 31 cents a share. Analysts expected a much smaller loss of three cents a share. Earnings on Wednesday include Intuit, BJ's Wholesale, Men's Warehouse, PetSmart, Dress Barn, Hot Topic, Ross Stores, Napster, and Gymboree, as well as Novastar Financial. Some of the stocks in the news today included Yahoo CEO Jerry Yang stepping down after a difficult 17 months and returned to his role as Chief Yahoo. Union Pacific warning that fourth quarter shipping volumes will be lower than originally predicted amid the worsening economy. And Stericycle Inc. will replace Anheuser-Busch in the S&P 500. And that is the market wrap on this Tuesday. I'm Jack Lott on the James Dix Financial Network.